Hello everyone! In this odd bonsai video, I'll be digging up one rundown peach tree Amadori from a pile of construction rubble and garbage, only to later discover that it needs a pretty severe pruning to eliminate all the damaged branches. So join me as I start digging up this Prunus persica Amadori. I noticed this small peach tree a few weeks ago as I was walking by a construction site. Most likely it grew from a seed that ended up in this pile of construction debris. Since the owner of the rubble pile had no intention in keeping the tree once the rubble was cleared out, I offered to collect it. So here I am digging out this little Prunus persica. Digging up this rubble is certainly easier than I expected it to be. This means the tree should be out in no time. The roots are already getting loose. Unfortunately, it seems to have a set of large tap roots going that way. The construction rubble must have provided a good growing medium since it has the right characteristics. Good water retention and drainage. However, that doesn't mean I would recommend it as a bonsai soil as it may contain compounds that are potentially toxic to some species. I don't intend to dig out the entire taproot, so I'll try to pull it out gently now. It doesn't want to come out yet, so let's see if removing some more debris will make it easier to extract. Ok, now it's out. Not a great root system, but we will work on that in time. Before taking it home, I have to make sure the roots will not dry out. So first I'm watering the roots thoroughly. Next, I'm soaking an old rag in water. Then wrap it around the roots. And finally, pour some more water on it. I've been wanting to experiment with air pruning of the roots for some while, so I'll be potting the peach tree in this plastic basket. I just need to drill some drainage holes first. I'll be using a 25mm Forstner bit for drilling the 6 marked drainage holes. And as a last step in preparing the pot, I'm placing drainage screen over the holes. Now it's time to unpack the roots from the wet rag that kept them from drying up and place the peach Yamadori in its new home. I'm not performing any further work on the roots until next year, so the only way I can position the tree is with an offset like this. I'll first add some soil and I will adjust the final position afterwards. Filling the pot with a small scoop was taking forever, so I switched to pouring the soil directly from my mixing container. I'm making sure the roots are covered by soil at this point before filling in the rest of the pot. And now I proceed with the usual step of removing all the air pockets from the soil. Since the soil was completely dry, a thorough watering is required before proceeding with the pruning part. As you can see, most of the branches of this little tree are damaged. Judging by the way it looks, it must have been chewed on by rabbits or some other animal. I'll be checking each branch to see what can be kept and what has to be removed. Going up the trunk, we have this first branch here that has an awkward position and it starts too low on the trunk, so I will have to remove it even though it's probably the least damaged one of all. Next we have this area here with this branch growing behind this other one. And also there is a large wound here where the branch grows from. So I will cut off the branch with the most damage to reduce the size of the wounded area. Moving on to this branch we have several corrections to do. First there is a split here so I'll remove this inside branch. Then there are a lot of these top branches which seem to be dead and need to be removed. This is definitely dried up wood. Now I am left with a side branch which is all chewed up on its underside and this larger one with a big wound. 
I'll just reduce the side branch to here for now and decide later how to proceed in this area. There are some more dry branches here which I'm going to remove now. After thinking it over, this damaged branch needs to be removed, so I'll first cut it down to here. The thinner side branch is in an awkward position, so it could only look good if I would bend it like so. However, with that big cut and the damaged underside, there's just too much damage on this branch, so I will count on this opening butt here to generate the new side branch and cut the existing one completely off. A first side branch may develop here from this bud and it could look something like this. Now after I finish cleaning up all the cut wounds, I'm going to protect them using a liquid cut paste that I bought for my fruit trees. It is made out of natural ingredients such as beeswax, honey and linseed oil, which are supposed to help in the healing process and create a protective coating once it dries up. It's now the time for this Yamadori to go outside and get used to its new home. Consider subscribing to get notified on future videos on this tree and more. Thank you for watching and see you in the next Odd Bonsai video.